Welcome back today, we're diving deep into the world of rare and valuable wheat pennies. These small copper coins have captured the hearts of collectors worldwide, and today, we're going to unveil the top 8 ultra-rare wheat pennies. With mind-boggling market values, let's get started first up. The 1944 wheat penny, without a mint mark, graded in extra fine condition. Before we get into the nitty-gritty details, let's take a step back and understand why this particular penny is so special in the midst of World War II, the United States was experiencing a shortage of copper due to its high demand for ammunition production. As a result, the US. Mint decided to strike pennies using steel instead of the traditional bronze composition. However, a small number of bronze planchettes were left over from 1943 and were used in 1944 without the usual mint marks. These era coins are highly sought after by collectors due to their rarity and historical significance. Now, let's talk about the condition. This particular penny is graded as extra fine meaning it has minimal wear with most of the original details still intact. Despite being circulated, the coin retains its sharpness and luster, making it even more desirable among collectors. So what's the market value of this numismatic gem today? Well, it can vary depending on factors such as demand, condition, and overall rarity. According to recent auctions and market analyses, a 1944 wheat penny without a mint mark in extra fine condition can fetch anywhere from $1.2 million in today's market. Of course, this value is subject to change over time, so it's essential for collectors to stay informed and keep an eye on market trends. A glimpse into the world of numismatics and the value of a 1944 wheat penny without a mint mark in extra fine condition. Remember, every coin tells a story and it's up to us to preserve and appreciate their rich history. Next up, explore the value and history behind a particular gem, the 1947 wheat penny with a D mint mark in very fine condition. Now, before we delve into its market value today, let's take a trip down memory lane and uncover the story behind this iconic coin. The 1947 wheat penny was struck during a period of post-war economic recovery and transition in the United States. With its distinctive design featuring the profile of Abraham Lincoln, on the obverse and two stalks of wheat framing the words one cent on the reverse, this coin quickly became a symbol of American resilience and prosperity. During this time, the Denver Mint, identified by the D-Mint mark, played a crucial role in producing coins to meet the growing demands of a recovering economy. The 1947 wheat penny from the Denver Mint is particularly sought after by collectors due to its limited mintage and historical significance. Now, let's talk about its value in today's market. The 1947 wheat penny with a D mint mark in very fine condition holds significant worth among collectors and enthusiasts alike. Its rarity, combined with its historical significance, contributes to its market value. As of the making of this video, the market value of a 1947 wheat penny with a D mint mark in very fine condition can vary depending on factors such as its overall condition, provenance, and demand in the collector's market. However, it's not uncommon for this coin to fetch prices ranging from $800,000. So, whether you're a seasoned collector or someone just starting to explore the world of coin collecting, the 1947 wheat penny with a D mint mark is truly a treasure worth adding to your collection. Its historical significance, combined with its enduring allure, makes it a timeless piece of American numismatic history. Next up the 1948 wheat penny, without a mint mark we uncover the secrets and value behind this iconic piece of American history. The 1948 wheat penny, struck in fine condition without a mint mark, holds a special place in the hearts of collectors worldwide. Produced by the United States Mint, this coin features the iconic wheat stalks on the reverse and the profile of Abraham Lincoln on the obverse. Now, let's talk about its market value. The value of any coin is determined by various factors, including its rarity, condition, and historical significance. In the case of the 1948 wheat penny, without a mint mark, its scarcity plays a significant role in driving up its market price. The 1948 wheat penny, without a mint mark, is relatively scarce compared to its counterparts minted in Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco that year. Its low mintage numbers contribute to its desirability among collectors. Additionally, finding this coin in fine condition, with clear details and minimal wear, is quite rare. Collectors are willing to pay a premium for coins in such pristine condition. So, how much is the 1948 wheat penny without a mint mark worth in today's market? Well, its value can fluctuate based on market demand and other economic factors. However, 
As of our latest research, a 1948 wheat penny in fine condition without a mint mark can fetch anywhere from $600,000 or even more in the current market. Recent auctions and sales have seen this coin commanding impressive prices, especially when paired with its original luster and sharp details. But remember, the value of any collectible item is subjective and can vary based on individual preferences and market trends. If you're lucky enough to own one of these rare treasures, consider getting it appraised by a professional to determine its true value. Next up, the most iconic coins in American history, the 1934 Wheat Penny. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on all things coins. Now, let's get started. Here it is, folks. The 1934 Wheat Penny, a true classic in every sense. Minted during the Great Depression era, these pennies hold a special place in the hearts of collectors worldwide. Now, what makes the 1934 wheat penny stand out? Well, for starters, it's one of the few pennies minted during that time without a mint mark. Minted in Philadelphia, it's characterized by its iconic design, featuring two wheat stalks on the reverse and the profile of Abraham Lincoln on the obverse. But let's talk about its condition. A coin's condition plays a significant role in determining its value in today's market. Now, when we say good condition, we're referring to coins that have retained a considerable amount of their original detail, despite being circulated. In the case of the 1934 wheat penny, we're looking for minimal wear and tear, with distinct features such as Lincoln's profile and the wheat stalks remaining visible. Now, onto the big question, what's the market value of a 1934 wheat penny in good condition today? Well, it varies based on factors like demand, rarity, and overall condition. As of the latest market data, a 1934 wheat penny, without a mint mark and in good condition, can fetch anywhere from $1 million in today's market. However, it's essential to note that prices can fluctuate based on market trends and collector demand. So, if you happen to stumble upon one of these beauties in your coin collection or while coin roll hunting, make sure to give it a closer look. You might just be holding a piece of history worth more than its face value. Next up exploring the fascinating story behind the 1951 wheat penny without a mint mark and uncovering its current market value in pristine condition. So, let's dive right in. Ah, the humble wheat penny. Despite its modest appearance, this coin holds a wealth of history and intrigue. But what sets apart the 1951 penny without a mint mark? Let's find out. Now, you may be wondering, why is the absence of a mint mark significant? Well, in the case of the 1951 penny, it's because these coins were struck at multiple mint facilities, including Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. However, some were mistakenly struck without a mint mark, making them rare and highly sought after by collectors, now, let's talk condition. The value of any coin, especially a collectible like this, heavily depends on its condition. A very good grade indicates that the coin has seen circulation but still retains most of its original detail. In numismatics, coins are graded on a scale ranging from poor to perfect, with very good falling somewhere in the middle. Even in this condition, the 1951 wheat penny without a mint mark holds significant value. Now, let's crunch some numbers, shall we? According to recent market trends and auction records, a 1951 wheat penny without a mint mark in very good condition can fetch anywhere from $400,000. The true value of a coin extends far beyond its monetary worth. Each coin tells a story, connecting us to the past and preserving a piece of history for generations to come. Next up, the 1945 D wheat penny, exploring its history, significance, and current market value. So, grab your magnifying glass and let's dive right in. Hey there folks, I'm thrilled to be your guide on this numismatic journey. Now, let's talk about the 1945 D Wheat Penny. Minted during the heart of World War II, this humble coin carries a wealth of history within its tiny frame. As the war raged on, the demand for copper soared, leading the US, mint to explore alternative materials for coin production. Thus, the 1943 Steel Penny was born. However, by 1944 and 1945, the mint reverted to using bronze, but not without some notable variations, including the 1945 D-Penny we're focusing on today. Now, let's talk about the D-Mint mark. The D stands for the Denver Mint, one of the three mints authorized to produce U.S. coins. The presence of this mint mark indicates that our penny was struck in Denver, Colorado. The Denver Mint played a crucial role during wartime, producing millions of coins to support the economy and fund the war effort. Each coin that rolled off the presses bore the mark of its origin, including our cherished 1945 D-Wheat penny. Now, let's assess the condition of this coin. 
In the world of coin collecting, condition is king. Our 1945 D penny, in fine condition, exhibits moderate wear but retains clear details, making it a desirable piece for collectors. Fine condition falls within the middle range of the Sheldon coin grading scale, indicating that the coin has experienced circulation but still retains much of its original detail. Coins in this condition are often sought after by collectors for their balance of wear and preservation. Now, the burning question on everyone's mind, what's the market value of our 1945 D-week penny in fine condition? Well, let's consult the experts and find out. According to the latest data, a 1945 D-week penny in fine condition can fetch anywhere from $500,000 in today's market. While this may seem modest, the true value lies in the history and rarity of the coin, making it a prized addition to any collection. And there you have it, folks. The 1945 D. Wheat Penny, a small yet significant piece of numismatic history. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, never underestimate the value of these hidden treasures waiting to be discovered. Next up, explore the story behind the 1950 Wheat Penny with a D. Mint mark. We'll delve into its color shade variations, conditions, and most importantly, its current market value in dollars. The 1950 D. Wheat Penny holds a special place in American numismatic history. Minted in Denver, Colorado, this one-cent coin features the iconic Wheat Ears reverse design, symbolizing the nation's agricultural heritage. But what makes this particular penny so intriguing are its color shade variations and condition. As with many coins of its era, the 1950 D Wheat Penny can exhibit a range of color shades from a lustrous reddish brown to a darker chocolate hue. Factors such as exposure to environmental elements, circulation wear, and storage conditions all contribute to these color variations. When assessing the condition of a 1950 D Wheat Penny, collectors look for key indicators such as mint luster, surface preservation, and the presence of any notable flaws or imperfections. A well-preserved specimen with minimal wear and attractive toning can command a premium in the numismatic market. The market value of a 1950 D Wheat penny varies based on its condition, color shade, and overall appeal to collectors. While a circulated example may fetch anywhere from $400,000, a pristine, uncirculated specimen with vibrant toning could command upwards $600,000 or more in today's market. The 1950 D-Wheat Penny is not only a piece of American history, but also a treasure trove for coin collectors seeking unique color variations and pristine specimens. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, keep an eye out for this iconic coin in your numismatic pursuits. Next, two, explore the value of a 1938 Wheat Penny without a mint mark in uncirculated condition. So, sit back, relax, and let's embark on this exciting journey. Have you ever come across a 1938 wheat penny without a mint mark? If so, you might be sitting on a treasure. Let's delve into why this coin is so special and what its current market value is. The 1938 wheat penny, produced by the United States Mint, holds a special place in the hearts of collectors. One distinguishing feature of this particular coin is the absence of a mint mark, making it a rare find indeed. Minted in Philadelphia this penny bears the iconic image of Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and two stalks of wheat encircling the words one cent on the reverse. Now, let's talk about the condition. An uncirculated coin means it has never been used as currency and remains in pristine condition. This is crucial for collectors, as the value of a coin can significantly increase based on its state of preservation. In uncirculated condition, the 1938 wheat penny without a mint mark becomes even more desirable to collectors. Its sharp details and lustrous surface make it a sought-after addition to any collection. But what about its market value today? Well, that's where things get exciting. Due to its rarity and condition, a 1938 wheat penny without a mint mark in uncirculated condition can fetch a pretty penny on the market. According to recent market trends and coin valuation guides, the value of a 1938 wheat penny without a mint mark in uncirculated condition can range from $1.5 million or more depending on factors such as demand, condition, and overall market fluctuations. So if you happen to stumble upon one of these gems in your collection or while coin hunting, make sure to hold onto it tightly. Who knows, it could be worth more than you ever imagined. Well folks, that's all for today's exploration into the world of numismatics. Remember to keep on collecting and treasure hunting. Until next time, happy coin hunting.